Alright guys, this is going to be a short video. It's a creative sim video. My first one, and her name is Jessica Fields, and she's a classy sim. Um, I didn't know what I was going to do with her when I first got in the game, you know. So I just kind of played around, and I knew that if she was classy, she would have to have that hair. You know, I think it's called, it's from The Sims 3 store, it's called like the Sophisticated Updo, or something like that. And it came from the 5th... Avenue collection, I think. So I gave her eye like a nice golden toned, switching into the brown. And I suck at noses. I'm just letting you know this, like right now. I cannot do noses for the life of me. So it, I had to try to get her nose right. So, and she's not just a classy, like uptight sim. She's like a classy but sexy at the same time, uh, sim. So, with her makeup, I wanted to do, like, a neutral, natural kind of look and tone it down a little bit. And for her eyeliner, I didn't want to do her waterline. I wanted to just do the top line. I don't know what you call that. Just not the waterline. The top. The lid. And for her um, lips, I gave her this nude uh, pink uh, tone lip. And for her everyday, I went with this top, and I did not know... I was trying to find a skirt for it, and nothing just fit, and I thought, you know what, she's not just, you know, a classy, uptight lady who's like a businesswoman all the time, I think she has to have some colors, you know, she's, you, yeah, so, after all of this crap, this waste of time, <laughs> I went and I was like, alright, no, I'm not satisfied, so I try to find something that's cute, but classy at the same time. So I find this sweater, and I'm like, nah, it's not working. I don't even know why I went down to the base game stuff. Well, I guess it was for the store content. So then I go for the outfits, because, you know, the outfits... The Sims 3 overall, or I mean, EA overall... That's too grandma, I'm sorry. They put, like, a lot of detail into their clothes, and they're not, like, just, you know, crap. So I went with that outfit from Outdoor Living Stuff, and I changed it so it would be orangey. This is going too damn fast. And <laughs> her shoes are orange as well. Well, no, that's not orange, it's more of a coral tone. And I gave her these nice silver earrings. Uh, that necklace was too much for me, so I just put on this nice one. This nice one that goes under the jacket. Uh, what did I do? I have a bad memory. Oh yeah, so I was gonna pick that one and I was like, no. I want to do something, you know, more colorful but classic at the same time. So I picked the sigil and chant, enchant, ugh, whatever, enchantress dress. I I can't talk. And I made it that nice light blue, and I gave. Oh no, I got. I took away the necklace. For her sleepwear, I want to do something like sexy but still classy. And you see me over here. I'm like, should I delete that? It's kind of skanky. And then I was like. And nah, why would I do that? So then I gave her this nice polka dot blue ruffly th thing from um, Master Sweet Stuff. And I did the slippers the same, except the fuzz is kind of dirty looking there. For her athletic wear, I was like, okay, what's up with the hair? You know, ew. And so anyway, for her athletic wear, I thought that was, don't judge me. I thought that was an, a bun. Not this big bow made out of hair. So for athletic wear, I was like, all right, what the hell am I going to do? There is nothing here that is classy at all. So I just gave her that top along with these nice pink bottoms. And I got rid of the earrings. For her, for her swimwear, I was going to give her a two-piece. Then I was like, nah, you know what? I don't think she would wear a two-piece. A classy woman would not wear a two-piece. So I gave her that nice one-piece. And the only reason I scrolled through the outfits is because I was like, what the hell? Why would you wear a wedding dress as your outerwear? I'm just saying. Her traits are brooding, natural cook, that's it, snob, and neat. Uh Oh, and proper, that's what I was missing. Her favorite food is crepes because she's, you know, uptight. I don't know. Just because you like crepes doesn't mean you're uptight. It's just... Yeah. Um, here's the little rundown, as Queen calls it, of her outfits. Speaking of Queen, Queen, I hope you feel better. I was just in your city, actually, on vacation. 
hoping I would see you. <laughs> and then I was like, wait, I wouldn't even be able to tell.